Food, I mean, food's been the centre of my life forever. It's the centre of everyone's life. I write recipes for home cooks. Then I also cook in a pretty fancy restaurant in Beverly Hills. When you're given so much as a country or a culture, you start thinking, I want to eat for flavour, I want to create an experience. Why do you cook? To eat. Why do you eat? To survive. When did we lose our way? Standing there with a pair of tweezers in my hand, trying to elevate food to a ridiculous level. Um, comparing what I do for a living with what these guys do to survive. So we're going to go to this place called Africa, and we're going to go and see what they have for dinner over there, mate. <laughs> No, I'm not, huh? It's just a polar opposite situation for us. To say these goats are prepared for you. It, just, it feels so confronting to, um... It's just a barbecue. The connection between survival and food has never been stronger to me, and it never was. Are we so smart? Are we so evolved as a culture back at home? <laughs> you see how simple it is, and there's real beauty in it. When did we get so busy that we forgot to be people? When did we forget to connect? like to help, would you? What can almost seem barbaric is in fact beautiful and cultured and respectful and I couldn't be more confused about what life is. <laughs> you really have no idea what you're in for. 